Hello there everybody, this is USA Bruce. I'm back with another tutorial for Gen Launcher as it's been updated, upgraded and now it's better than ever. Now let's start off with the basics. The first thing we need is to have a running working version of 0 Hour 1.04. This might be um, already what you install when you get the origin version the first decade or any other physical CDs you might have is also compatible. Just be sure that your install contains the necessary files from normal Command and Conquer Generals and from Command and Conquer Generals Zero Hour and it's patched all the way to the latest version 1.04. Any previous version or heavily modded and modified versions of Zero Hour will not work and will create problems. So we have our zero hour right here. The second step we need to do is to download Gen Launcher. Here is the quick link that we will be using to download it. We have successfully downloaded Gen Launcher. In order to use this file it is important to have a program that can extract RAR files. WinRAR or 7-Zip are programs that can open such files. Now, I'm using Windows 10, but we will get into detail for other versions right after this. So, we have GenLauncher. Do not open this file. Rather, open your Zerar directory. Go into Properties, Open File Location. This is a directory for your Zerar. The second thing you need to do is to get your Gen Launcher file and put it inside your directory. After this point, I recommend that you get your Gen Launcher and put a shortcut to your desktop. The first time you are going to run this program, um, it's going to take a little while to set itself up, and then we need to make sure that it is up to date. Let's open it up. Here we go. Oh, well how lucky of us. Right now we have the latest version. But please, and please, I'm putting a heavy emphasis on this, please make sure your Gen Launcher is up to date. If you are using Windows 10 or 11, you do not need to download anything else. However, if you are using Windows 7 and below, you will need to install Net Framework 4.6. I will be putting a link below so you can actually get that as well. Alright, now let's take a minute to install Net Framework 4.6. Let's open our browser. There we go. And let's download it. We need to make sure that we are downloading the runtime, not the developer version. After that, we can just go and run as administrator and install Net Framework 4.6. Because I run Windows 10, this is already pre-installed on my system. However, Windows 7 users will definitely need to download and install Net Framework 4.6. Now let's go over the features we know and love and what was added with this latest version of Gen Launcher. Now, as you remember from last time, we can just scroll up and click this button. This button will give us a selection of mods already uploaded and affiliated with Gen Launcher. For this example, let's go on with Zero Hour Reborn. We can just go there and click it. And then we can just click on install and it will start downloading. The beautiful thing about Gen Launcher is that it does not ruin your Zero Hour directory in any shape or form. You can take the time to install multiple mods. I can, for example, install Command Conquer Untitled as well, and I can launch each one without a hassle or needing to swap and change files. Also, on top of this, I can still play General Zero Hour with my friends on CNC Online, or on Game Ranger, or on Radmin. Now, one of the new features of this iteration of Gen Launcher is that I can add a mod from the files. Now. I personally am waiting for this secret mod called Postmortem. It's a mod from my Chinese friends and it's glorious. I am waiting for it. So I'm going to write it down Postmortem version 
zero point zero two secret version for Bruce. Yes, I'm afraid it's not available for anybody else. But as you can see, you can install mods manually which are not supported by Gen Launcher. Let's get a second there. In the meantime, we can just see how fast you can download mods from Gen Launcher. As long as you have an internet speed that is faster than pigeons. Here we go. We can just click on it and actually run the game from here. But that's not what we're going to do for today. Now let's go on with global add-ons. For global add-ons, it is an add-on type like Control Bar Pro that will impact and change every single mod you wish. You can click to enable it or click to disable it. This goes with every type of mod, file or feature on Gen Launcher. So let's add a global add-on from our files. For example, I wanted the Banana Projectiles mod. Let's say I want to go Ape version 1.0. Now with this add-on, I'm actually able to change every tank shell, rocket, missile and bomb into a banana and yes it's as fun as it sounds <laughs> now then let's go on and look at now to mods now i can for example click on zero reborn and i can look for patches now some versions of the game or mod might have special unique patches for this version though i'm going to add the terrorists replaced by chicken patch which replaces terrorists into chickens modification name KFC is best version 1.0 there we go add-ons are just like patches but unique features like uh, control bar pro some mods might have unique add-ons another feature in this new version of gen launcher is that there's a shortcut to the world builder where you can create new single-player missions scenarios or multiplayer maps and there's a button to switch between windowed mode and full screen mode. Be sure to check the options and update frequently. New features are on the horizon. And this has concluded our tutorial. You have learned how to install Gen Launcher, install Net Framework 4.6 for Windows 7 users, select and install a mod from the list. Select and install add-ons and patches globally or for each mod themselves and how to add mods manually. And with that, I would like to thank you all for watching this tutorial. Let's finish off by adding the most frequently asked questions and answers. The first one is, can we please install this mod? It's a really cool mod. Could we please add it to the list? Yes, you may. Any mod is welcome and accepted as long as it runs on Command and Conquer Generals Zero Hour. Maybe in the future we might support Generals mods, but for now it's only for Zero Hour. The mod developer, however, has to reach out and contact Dell, the creator of Gen Launcher. I will leave a link below on how to reach the Gen Launcher server where you may contact Dell for suggesting a mod, giving the contact link to the mod developer, or any help or technical issue that you might have with Gen Launcher. What mods are not accepted? Mods that heavily copy, steal, and are not permitted on ModDB. These pirate mods are not accepted on Gen Launcher. We do not support them. What about Zero Hour? Can I use this and still play Zero Hour with my friends on CNC Online, on Game Ranger, on Radmin? Yes. Gen Launcher does not conflict or add any files into a directory that might conflict with Zero Hour. Thanks again for watching. I hope to see you soon with the newer updates for Gen Launcher.